Hi everyone. So this is the ASU FT891. And what I want to do is I want to show you some features and functions so you can start doing some contacts. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to reset the rig. So I'm going to press and hold on the F key. I'm going to move my multifunction knob to menu number 17. And I want to go to item number one. Okay, there it is. Right? So, what you can do is you can press on the knob. And if you don't do anything, sometimes it'll just bring you back. So, press on the knob, choose what you want. All means uh, reset, like if you got it from the factory. If you press on data, it it erases the memory. If you go to function, it erases all the menu uh, settings and not the memory. So I'm going to go to all, press and hold on the knob here. And, and I don't think it did reset. I don't know if you noticed, but I waited too long. Let's do that again. So I'm going to go over here at all, press and hold. And you heard a click. Okay, and now it's ready. Okay, the next thing I want to do probably is the display. Click and hold on the F key. You can see it took me to the top uh, menu of menu one, setting one. Most likely it got reset. I'm going to go to menu number two and item number one for the contrast on the screen. Click on the multifunction knob. You can make it darker, lighter. Leave it there at 8. Press on this knob so I can choose something else. Dimmer backlit. These lights here can be darker or brighter. Click on the knob. Make it brighter, darker. I like them bright. Click on the knob and then go to dimmer LCD. Click on this and you can make it brighter or darker. Either way. So I'm going to leave it at a place where I feel comfortable. And I'm going to press the knob, okay? Or I can press the F key to get out. That setting did save. As you can see, it's still at three. Okay, press the F key to get out. And best practice is to lower down the power when you do a full reset. So let's do that. Let's click and hold on the F key. Scroll all the way down to um, menu number 16. Okay. So here's menu number 16, right? It's highlighted here on item number one. HF SSB power 100. Let's click on that. Let's lower that. We don't need it to be at 100 at this point. We can change it later. Okay. Then we're going to press the knob. Get out. Uh, HF uh, AM power. We can lower that down too. We can click on it. Now we changed it. Let's go to a HF power. Let's scroll over here to something more reasonable. Let's say 6. All right, let's go back to uh, HF AM power, right? Let's say you want the default setting, right? What was the default setting for that? For any of these menus, actually. You click on the knob here, and you can click on this button. C-L-A-R. C-L-A-R. Claire. It takes you to the default setting. Now... The default setting doesn't mean the highest setting either. So you can see that it goes up to 40. Pressing the clear button gives you the default value. And you can press, you don't have to press the knob anymore for the setting. You can always press the F key to get you back. Okay, so we're good at that. Let's talk about uh, 
Now let's talk about the frequency um, and how we can change it. This one's the main dial. Main dial, you can, there's a collar down here where you can make the dial a little more stiff or not as stiff, okay? You can do that. Uh, you can lock the dial by pressing the power button. It says lock, so it doesn't, the frequency doesn't move anymore. Press the power button. Now it's available. Uh, sometimes this scrolls a little too slow, no problem. Click on the fast button. It says fast, so it scrolls faster. Press fast again and goes back to pretty normal speed. Another thing too, uh, you want to, you know, using the main dial, these numbers, these frequency values might not be going fast enough. No problem. Click on the multifunction knob once. You're at the A band and you can see you can move very quickly. Click on it again and go to B and you can move very quickly there as well. Let's see if you click on the Claire button. Yeah, no. Don't click on that to get out. Uh, okay. So, another thing that uh, is important is the band, right? Here's the band. Click on it once. If you don't do anything, it's going to take you back. See that? So, click on band and then use the main dial. And, you know, sometimes you have to move in a little bit, or a lot, actually, to go where you want to go. And then it kicks you out. Okay. And then the mode. Click and hold on the band. And same thing. Um, takes a little while to move where you want to go. Let's say SSB. And then it kicks you out. And you're at, right now we're at upper sideband which was, that's the default at 28 megahertz. Let's say I want to change that. Let's say I want to go to lower sideband. What do I need to do? Click and hold on the F key. Go to uh, menu number 11. 11, 7, there it is. See that? SS, SSB, BFO, right? It's on auto. Click on the, the knob here. Let's say you want lower sideband. And you can click on the F key or the knob. Let's click on the F key. Now it's in lower side band. Let's say you click on band, right? You're somewhere, say I'm 14, and you're like, you know, I don't know if 14 is lower side band or upper side band. No problem. Click on the F key. Go back to menu number 11, item number 7, SSB, BFO, right? Click on the knob here. It on auto. Press the F key or the knob, the multifunction knob, <laughs> right? Press F. And now we're in upper side band because that's the, the appropriate. Not the appropriate, but understood at 14 megahertz. It's upper side band. Okay. So we got that. Let's talk about the memories, right? So you're over here and you want to save this into memory. Now right now we're in VFO mode because if you press this button, V and at, V slash M, that's memory mode because there's an M there. But if you click on this button, it takes you to VFO mode, right? So in VFO mode, right, you are, you know, you like this frequency here. I want to save it, no problem. Click on the V, VFO to memory button once. Look for a channel that's clear. That looks pretty clear, okay? Press the FV button, and there you go. You just saved it. And I, I didn't touch anything. It just went automatically. Now, uh, let's say, you know, you're in a different band or, you know, different mode or something. And you want to go back to that memory, no problem. Memory to a VFO, click on it once. Go to where you want, right? And I believe it's this button here, let's see. Yeah, it's the, um, the knob here, the multifunction knob that takes you there. Um, 
if you are, let's say you want to go back to this uh, value, this memory, and actually we're in memory, you see that? But let's say you want to erase this. Well, you go back to the VM button. You can go to the memory you want to erase, which is right here, and then go back. And if you click on the VM button, you can see that's erased. And then you can go back without doing anything. It takes a little while to get used to it. You know, um, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can definitely grasp the idea. Okay, the next one will be the quick memory um, bank. So again, you're over here. You want to save this kind of like, you know, you don't want to go through all those steps. Click and hold on the quick memory bank. And there it is. Right. Let's say you have another frequency you want to save very quickly. Click and hold. And that's the second one. So if you click here first and then second, right, it has five banks that you can operate in. Um, so that's a neat way to save memory. You can always go to the VFO to memory button and choose something there as well. But if you don't, you can go back. Okay. And then right now you are in this mode, right? Um, the quick memory bank. But if you just move the scroll wheel, it takes you back to VFO. Okay. Now, what we should go over are the, what they call the, um, the setting modes display. Fancy for just a bunch of uh, settings. If you press once on the F key, it gives you um, this page with function number one, functions or function number two has a bunch of settings. And then another page for uh, CW settings to get out, you press the Claire button, right? But let's press the F button again. And then again, one more time. And let's look at a few of these. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go to function number one. So one thing maybe is like you move the knob, the multifunction knob. Let's say you want to do width, right? You click on the knob here, and then you can change the setting. Press on it again. Let's say maybe noise blanketer. Click on this. Increase or decrease. Press on the uh, multifunction knob to get out. Press the F key, maybe on page two. Let's say you want to go to DNR, right? As I move the knob here, you can see the tab, and then you press on the knob. Then you can select the value, right? And you're out. Then you want to go back. You press on the um, clear button, okay? Now, and there's a bunch more features in these function um, pages and CW settings as well. But let's say you want um, to add a particular function, right, um, to these buttons, these programmable multi-function buttons. Let's say, for example, you want to um, have the meter, right, present here. Because you have shift here, well, I don't want that. Scope, we'll talk about that a little bit later. we got to press on Claire, I think. And then this is the um, noise blanketer, which you can see there's a little tab here, which means I can choose the value for that. But again, let's say the meter, right? How do we, how do we set that in one of these buttons? Press the F key and press it again. Here it is, meter. You can use the knob to choose MTR. 
choose it, press the knob, and then choose what you want. Power, ALC, SWR, and then it takes you there. Now, that doesn't give me the... Um, it doesn't show me here on the buttons, right? That's what we wanted to do. Okay, so let's click on the F key again. I move the um, knob for the function that I want. And let's go with A button, press and hold. Okay, now we have it. And you can see it has a little tick mark here. And what I can do is now I can change power, ALC, SWR. And that's what it is right now. Now, SWR is not showing. It's the S meter that it's showing right now. The moment I press this button, the PTT button, it's going to show me my SWR. And this notch here tells me that if I use the scroll, the um, the knob, right, the multi-function knob, it's going to give me that. Okay. So that gives you an idea of these programmable multi-function buttons. Now, another thing that we probably want to talk about is these knobs over here, right? So we have the RF, which is back here. Okay, and then when we have the AF button, or the AF knob, sorry. Right, this is the volume, and this is kind of like a gain for the RF. Now, a lot of the times, the RF um, knob is a SQL knob for um, repeaters in HF. How do you change that? Well, you click and hold on the F key, you go to uh, number five, menu five, item number five. Wow, let's see. There you go. And you click on the um, knob here, and then you can change it to SQL and RF. So that's how you change the RF knob to an SQL knob. So what about a tuner? Let's say you have a tuner. How do you connect that? Press and hold on the F key. Go to menu 16, item 15. Uh, just right here. Menu 16, item 15, tuner. And then right now it's off. But you have, uh, let's see, external, atlas, linear. OK, I'm going to have that off. And. That's a setting for the tuner. Okay, I think that's more than enough for you to get a start on how to use the radio. A lot of the times you have to use the manual. Actually, there's two manuals for this. There's an advanced manual and a, and a regular manual. And depending on the manuals, it gives you different um, operational parameters. So if this video was uh, informative for you, please consider subscribing, give it a thumbs up, and I hope you have a great day. This is Frank, KN6BST.